Hey everyone, welcome to a new NetTets video quick tip. Today we're going to learn how to achieve CSS3 text gradients, which is pretty neat using just a little bit of trickery. Uh, before we get started, I want to note that I actually learned this technique from the guys over at NiceWebType.com. So they have a really clever tutorial on how to achieve this with WebKit. So I'll link to that in the, the tutorial and be sure to check that out. Okay, let's close this out and here is our canvas. So just have an h1 tag with an anchor tag that says hello world and some padding. Let's begin by styling the h1 and I'm going to set the position to relative for later. I'll explain that shortly. The font size to 60, maybe 70 pixels. And let's zero out the default margin on the top. Now let's go to the anchor tag and get rid of that underline. And I'm going to set a color of a grayish color. Okay, so next let's take advantage of web fonts that Google just introduced and let's get this uh, lobster one because we need lobster. Okay, so let's copy that and I've actually already included it as you can see here and we're going to set the font family by default to this lobster font but if it doesn't work it'll default back to Helvetica or Arial. Refresh the page and easy custom fonts. Great. So now the way we achieve this is using WebKit mask image and basically we're just going to set uh, transparency from 1 to 0. So we'll set a gradient, and it's a linear gradient. It's going to go from top to bottom, and it's going to go begin from uh, RGBA, and this accepts 4, 0, 0, red, green, blue, and alpha, which will be 1 by default, to RGBA, 0, 0, 0, 0. And you want to make sure you get all these parens correct. can be a little confusing. I think that's right, though. And check that out. You can already see by default we have just kind of a cool gradient that we have right there. But we can't do custom colors uh, with RGBA. So you would think you could do like red, green, but actually it seems like that doesn't seem to work. So what we need to do instead is to add, to duplicate this text. So here's kind of the trick after. And this is one reason why, uh, w at least without JavaScript, you wouldn't be able to make this dynamic. Is you can see here I'm setting the after content equal to this as well. So you could also do a JavaScript if you wanted a solution like that where you grab it dynamically. And I'm going to set the color to D6. And if we refresh, you can see that's how After works. So what we're going to do here is set the anchor tag, position, absolute. And now what you can see here is by setting the position to absolute, uh, that area seemingly doesn't really take up space, so it pushes it up. So you can see if I go from red what it does there. So the color up here will be the start point and the color down here will be the end point. So you can see green to red. I want to change that to blue, green to blue. You can see how that works. So what I'm doing here is setting a dark gray color and it's going to come down to this is more of a practical gradient. But why don't we add one more step? We don't want it fully 1 to 0 here. Why don't we set a color stop? And the color stop is going to be at the 50% mark. And that's going to be at uh, RGBA 0, 0, 0, and 0.5. And then what I want to do here is go all the way back to 1. So that way we just get a very subtle gradient. And make sure I add that comma. It's very easy to make mistakes here. So. so if I zoom in, and we want to make it easier to bring these colors back, green, red. You can see green goes to red and goes back to green. Very neat. So the final step we want to do here is just maybe add a little bit more and I'll set a text shadow of 0, 1 pixel, 0 white, refresh the page, and easily in WebKit we have nice text gradients that can be um, changed however you like. Now if we go to this in Firefox, all it's going to do is show a solid color. Still works. So let me know what you think. And uh, this is a cool little technique to have in your tool, bit, tool belt. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeffrey Way, and always visit NetTouch for more tips and tutorials.